This is Sneaker Gears, my name is Levi, and welcome to a Professional Gears Take. We're looking at all the events for the NBA and Nike and Jordan that were put on for the NBA All-Star Weekend here in Chicago. Now, I wasn't invited to any special events. I don't have any uh, back behind the scenes to give you, but as just a regular fan who loves shoes, loves the community, uh, just a sneakerhead in general, I did as much as I could. I went to multiple places, and I just wanted to take you through what happen let's jump right in all right so the first place i went to was hub 23 this is on 5200 south cottage grove i believe it's an armory a big location and the first thing you see when you get there was just so cool a lot of lights uh, you go in and it's just a really welcoming party uh, i was able to get a really good parking go right in front and first thing is you walk in the door and it really just blows your mind jordan brand did a really good job this is again kind of a far drive probably 45 minutes from the middle of the city so if you were on the west or north side this was a hike now going through kept everything really dark you didn't really know what was going on so you go through this tunnel the lights are going on and off and the first thing you see are all the jerseys now what nike or what jordan brand did was actually take the colors from all the jerseys used over all-star weekend with the celebrity game the all-star game uh the rookie games and the colors are based on the transit lines used in chicago so this is kind of a homage to really chicago and a lot of people didn't really know that that's where the colors come from going through as you see all these colors you walk through the hall and you're kind of wondering all right what are they going to have in here you look up and there's about 50 foot ceilings. It is amazing. You see that Jordan Unite, massive, massive area. And the first thing I did, I was like, man, what's over here on the right? It's a lot of space. And they put in this amazing basketball court with this huge, uh, you know, scoreboard on top which i don't know if that's normally there uh, something i would love to have shot hoops there but they're already practicing something and they did have official games there over the weekend although i wasn't able to catch any so we go back to the other side and they kind of have an area for the uh, retail side which was a really long line and that's where you're able to get some of the exclusives and then they had an area paying homage to all the collaborations that they did now going through the first collaboration they did was with the Jordan Wings program. Now, if you guys aren't aware, the Jordan Wings program is actually uh, a kind of a partnership with Jordan Brand, with Nike, that educates the programming to help students in the apparel and design industry. Now, what they did was take four students and they worked on the Jordan 10, very iconic. And I didn't even realize it takes a lot of cues for the Chicagoland area. The Chicago bean kind of represents that mud guard with that silver. And then a lot of the accent colors, again, are paying homage to the colors of the Chicago transit lines. As you work your way through, you have Lyrical Lemonade, where they have the Aerospace 720. And this is actually from musical director and founder Cole Bennett. And it uses his brand's signature hues really nice shoe and then working our way through you actually have the next collaboration that was with sheila rashid now she is known in chicago as the queen of denim has a lot of unisex design and they actually took the chicago one in denim and it's like dipped in this purple paint now my wife's favorite color is purple so this is one that's coming out next month it looks really cool now going through social works is actually a nonprofit foundation that was founded with chicago's own chance the rapper along with justin cunningham and essen smith now they raise money for social awareness issues in the chicago youth and they took the chicago ko1 and really put chicago colors on there now it looks like a unc color but it's a light blue with an orange bottom kind of i think paying tribute like almost like the bears colorways and it has the chicago map on the bottom of the shoes these are one that i they're supposed to be out i'm not sure if they came out but very cool collaboration going through the next one needs no introduction off-white virgil abloh the off-white fives these things are crazy uh, essentially there are five done in his unique take it uses a another 
nylon upper which we had in the chicago 12 before so it's a very lightweight shoe it's a ripstop nylon I don't know if I like it personally. I would love to see different colored laces. The bottom of the shoe is actually kind of pre-yellowed. So it already looks aged, but it's something that you should be able to get a lot of legitimate wear out of it. Awesome, awesome shoe. I know early retail pricing was going for like $2,000, came down to about a thousand. Uh, where is it maybe going down to closer to 500? Not sure if I want to get my hands on this, but just picking it up and seeing how light it is, they really did a really good job with this, and I'll have a better take on it in future videos. Now, the next collaboration was with Chicago Streetwear and now kind of global brand, Success. The co-owners are Lavelle Skies and Bobby Simmons, and essentially they just have their take. They have their collaboration with some shirts and apparel representing Chicago well. Really cool kind of showing, you know, in the classroom, the designs that they do. And then going through the next we actually have is with the founder of design studio struggle, Cody Hudson. Now he works a lot with motion inspired graphics. He had a few t-shirts, has a six point star that uh, kind of his take on the Chicago star. I really liked it. This is one that I may be picking up because that orange reminds me of the Illini as well as just your Chicago bears. Finally, drew the barber. This is one where he is the owner of Chicago, no guts, no glory, or forgive me, no cuts, no glory. And he had a tee, had a hoodie. This thing is, was a dope setup. I actually haven't heard of this until now. So I'm not really in the loop, but just seeing this is one like, oh, I may have to go check him out. Now he does a lot of NBA stars, but this was a really dope collab as well. Now I mentioned the retail side. Now this is one because there was a long line, I didn't want to wait. I wasn't going to buy anything. So they were kind enough. Thank you to security. And the guys there said, allow me to take some media footage. But if you guys take a look here, they pretty much had all the all-star releases. They had a pretty good inventory. I know a lot of people went there, were able to get what they wanted. The shoe I wanted to see was the Chicago 185s. Now, I'll have some close-ups here in a minute, but if you guys missed out on that, they are going to have quite a few other colorways coming out in the 85 with that original build. But one thing you may notice, the original leather on the Chicago 85 wasn't that great. I don't know if you guys know, I have an original 85 one. So looking at this, it actually was pretty accurate, but it's not as plush. It's not as nice as maybe you guys thought it would be, but it is as OG as they possibly could do. So much respect to that. Now, finally, they did have the Chicago threes, which everyone will look at and think, yeah, this looks like the DJ Khaled version from last year. Although I'm going to say that these look better. Now, only the ones from Chicago do have the uh, Nike Air Shy on the back, which is obviously home is to chicago really nice take uh not a huge deal same shoe uh if you can get the one from shy i'm not sure if they're going for more but it's a chicago three doesn't get much better than that so next i made my way even farther south now we have a few chicago nike outlets and there's one just by o'hare airport in what's called rosemont uh, there's one uh way out west in aurora which is a suburb of chicago and that's about an hour west and then there's one here that's about 20 30 minutes south although again with chicago traffic it's about an hour so about 15 minutes farther away this is the south side chicago store on cottage grove this location, I heard they completely redid it. And you guys take a look. It looked crazy. You walk in, they had a DJ live. They had a skill challenge thing where it was one of those games where it senses the ball. So you could dribble here. I don't want to get footage of this dude, but really fun. They had shoe cleaning, which was dope. They used actually Angelus cleaner. So it wasn't from any of the big names, but I would say Angelus is probably one of the best cleaners. So very legit going through. They kind of had a locker room set up. And again, they had a lot of the shoes available. Available. They were doing random restocks. Uh, some of these may not be all the hype and heat, but they had, you know, the Why Not 3. They had the Jordan 34s. You could see close ups of the jerseys that they used during the All Star weekend with the 2 and the 24. Going through the shoe I was most interested in, and I'll have a video on those soon, is the Jordan 34 SE. This thing is dope. The materials, the additional containment, 
awesome awesome shoe and i'll have a little bit more coming soon now obviously unite was the brand but they had the all-star shoes here as well the lebron the kd going through the pg4s and finally the freak one all of these have a unique take that are not necessarily from Chicago, except for the KD-11 or KD-12, uh, but really cool. You have LeBron with his Monstars colorway going through. You have the Back Coming to America take, where that's another cool, again, with Giannis take with that, you know, not McDonald's, but what is it? McDonald's, I forgot what the name was, but going through really love the look of that shoe but it does kind of suck performance wise pg4 with an, another gatorade colorway actually nothing too special there the shoe that obviously caught my attention being from chicago the kd12 in those chicago colorways chicago star both on the tongue and on the back uh, this is one i really enjoyed and I, this is one i might try to get but uh, I still don't like that translucent outsole. I wish it did a little bit more, but absolutely dope looking shoe. Now, the next place I went to was up north. This is a high-end shop called Sovereign or SVRN. This is the first time I've ever been to. They had uh, kind of a get together or a nightcap where they had food, they had DJ, they had drinks. Just walking into the store, beautiful store. Uh, if you guys want me to do uh, reviews or kind of interviews with some of these places and some of the owners i'd be happy to do it but you walk in they had a nice seating area you go through their shoe wall was actually really sick really well lit uh, they had some of the hotter releases some retro releases and obviously this is a high-end fashion store that also has sneakers but they use them as a location for jordan brand they obviously were kind of sponsored by jordan there had live dj I really love the environment going through. They had multiple of their women's collaborations there. You can go through and just a really good vibe, good experience. You guys can take a look. They had the NC2 Chicago Ones, as well as just some apparel from their own store and what they have. You guys can take a look at this store. Really appreciate Sovereign. Thank you to guys for making a really nice experience. And uh, I definitely got to go back here. All right, making my way through the city, I went to another high-end store, and that is No Tray. This store is one that I followed as they moved a couple times that they've expanded. Really, really cool environment to just walk into. Their entryway always has a movie playing. They had the Matrix playing. Again, just really good vibes. Going through, they always have a lot of heat, and I really appreciate it is obviously they have their Jordan brand, but just a lot of other brands. They had shoes from Hoka, from, I wanna say Saucony, but going through, they had a whole nice setup with Unite that looks like a bus stand, where they had obviously the NC to Chicago, they had the Lyrical Lemonade. Some of the guys rocking heat there. They had one guy with the Chicago 85s already on going through you can see just a huge space that they have again really nice store just to check out good people there and really just a nice experience if you're gonna buy anything from there i can highly recommend no tray i've shopped with them a couple times and i love going there and just walking out the store again you had a lot of celebrities i don't know who or what they were but you did see a few guys wearing some red octobers and the off-white fives already on foot really dope Going through the next door, and I think doesn't really need any introduction, and it's RSVP from Just On, Chicago's very own. Going through, if you haven't been to the store, it's very unassuming. You go downstairs, and you actually have uh, just this really more, uh, I guess, clothing design. They have some shoes, but it's definitely not a sneaker store. I really love all the styles they have. I haven't shopped there mostly because it, it is kind of expensive guys but it's legit stuff and it's chicago's very own now one thing that they have obviously they're known for is their hats but they did have the low-key drop of chicago's the just on i think was the air force ones these things are sick i may have to try to get my hands on them the colorway again kind of homage to chicago as well as a play off the kd12s just down on the back with his name going through the chicago flag and the tongue nice details 
beautiful shoe here. Next place I went to was the Nike Town area in downtown Chicago. Now they actually rented out almost the whole block. So they have the Nike Play, which in the corner of the block were shot out. This is where the old Apple store used to be. And this was kind of a play area with the kids. If you guys follow TJS on Instagram, he was there. He actually hooped a little bit. They also have the Boys and Girl Club of Virgil experience where you walk through. And this is where they had a lot of the workshops. So you're able to go there and learn and actually practice design. They have tables there, they have classes. Again, really nice area where you know, Chicago and Nike is giving back to the youth. Going through, they do have a few heat drops here. They have a few more of the clothings that maybe you weren't able to get, but overall, it's more of an educational experience. Now, the last place I went to was Chicago's Nike Town. Probably the most disappointing going through it really wasn't too much all-star related. As we take a look here, they had all the drops, obviously, with the Jordan drops, with the Why Not 3, the Jordan 34. But most of the experience was catered to the Nike Adapt BB2. So I did have a chance to try them on. I'll have my thoughts here in a future video. Uh, they had my size here. Uh, one of the guys who works there is really cool. Uh, really thank you to you for always just being a nice guy, helping out, answering questions. Uh, he had me try him on. I was able to get some footage of it. Overall, really nice fitting shoe. Uh, but to be honest, if you're able to get the Kobe 5 Pro Tros, which now is a little bit harder, I think it's a better shoe in every way. We'll see. You guys let me know if you want me to do a performance review on it. But the tech is exactly the same outside of the Adapt 2 being really cool. So that was a long weekend for me going to multiple places. Jordan Brand and Nike doing a great job sponsoring the city. Now, I was able to see a few athletes or just miss them. Russell Westbrook saw him walking out as I just missed him talking to Hub 23, uh, I believe by Sovereign. I did see Jaleel Okafor from Chicago, and that was pretty cool. He's obviously a seven footer, so you can kind of tell who they are. Uh, if you guys like this video, I just wanted to give you a kind of little peep of what you may have missed if you didn't come to Chicago for All-Star Weekend. Now, one thing I will say, I can completely understand if the athletes and the media want All-Star Weekend at a warmer element, a warmer location. It was cold, it was snowy. On top of that, we had the Chicago Auto Show, which is the largest auto show in the nation, which is another million people on top of it. So a lot of traffic, a lot of people in Chicago over the weekend. Hopefully there's a lot of business for a lot of restaurants and companies and clubs throughout the city, but it was a really big weekend for Chicago. Not to mention it was Valentine's Day weekend. Took out my wife, so don't worry. Uh, so very busy. I got to a lot of places and hopefully you guys had a little preview if you weren't able to come if you like that video please give it a thumbs up we'll have some performance reviews coming at you shortly as always this is levi sneaky ears really appreciate you guys and i'll come at you later